Hey guys, this is our new place. My husband and I, we bought a two bedroom, one bathroom condo here in the greater Boston area for $295,000. We put down $20,000. So the new principal amount for our mortgage is $275,000. The interest rate we got is 2.875%. Our new monthly housing payment for everything is $1,712. I know for some of you, or a lot of you, unless you live in a big city, it sounds like a lot of money, but um, in comparison to what I was paying before in rent for a one bedroom apartment, not two bedroom, but one bedroom, um, I was paying $1,825 a month. In fact, if I renew my lease, my new lease would have been $1,925. So I actually think I'm getting a great deal where I am now, especially owning my own place. So it's not like all the money just goes down the drain going into my landlord's pocket. So we are, I'm just so excited. I wanted to make this video to share with you guys just how I feel because I know I'm never gonna feel this way again. You know, the way I feel now, buying and owning my first place, is not going to be the way I feel buying and owning my second place or my third place, you know, because this feeling is, this whole experience is just so new to me, um, especially being that my parents do not own their home. So I just wanted to like reflect and take it all in. I already feel an improvement in the quality of my life. So for example, laundry. I used to have to haul my laundry two blocks away to a laundromat. So sometimes I would have to do my laundry when it was raining or snowing or like extremely windy, like so windy I felt like I was being blown away. I'm so excited right now because I get to just go downstairs to the first floor and do my laundry there and then I get to come back up. You know, I save so much time now and I don't have to waste my energy trying to coordinate when am I going to do my laundry during this week. My second example of an improvement in the quality of our life is definitely the kitchen. So in the old kitchen, it was just so dimly lit Ugh. and so narrow that like you can't open the refrigerator door all the way. Putting away the groceries every week was such a chore because like I'd have to stand on one side of the refrigerator. My husband would have to pass me the groceries from the other side so I could put it away. Or like not having an, an exhaust when you cook. Where's all the smoke gonna go, <laughs> you know? I mean, for sure, it's the kitchen. I mean, I love my new kitchen. It is definitely going to be a place I enjoy cooking in every day, especially when I cook every day to save money. The third thing for sure is the bathroom. So the old place had a window in the bathroom by where the bathtub was. How are you gonna take a shower when there's a window right where you're taking a shower? We had to have like a double shower curtain happening. One side where it normally is and the other side covering the window. Sometimes because it's windy, it blows at the shower curtain and I just feel like the two shower curtains are trying to touch my body and I just couldn't enjoy taking a shower every day because I just, I didn't like the feeling of a shower curtain touching my body. So our new place, there's no shower curtains. You know, it's just a um, glass door for the bathtub and it just feels so much more spacious and I, I feel like I can actually relax when I'm taking a shower. All the small little things that I just told you about that really bothered me about the place that I was renting, I actually used all of that every day as a motivator to sacrifice and to scrim and to save for the last two years so that I would have enough of a down payment to get a place of our own. Um, so like every time I something bothered me, for example, like the closet door of our old place wouldn't close all the way, you know what, I'm going to be a homeowner. If I, for example, saw my neighbor's saggy butt because view outside of my window was actually the building next over, I'm gonna be a homeowner. Every time something annoyed me, I just used that as fuel to want to become a homeowner. I have to say though that the excitement over the anticipation of being a first time homeowner um, was actually more exciting than the fact of being a homeowner. So don't get me wrong, I'm, I feel really happy that I'm living in this place that I own now, but I just feel like I worked up so much excitement prior to this that being here is just not as exciting as trying to anticipate for this. Oh guys, you know like I don't like to get ripped off, but I mean I feel like 
I'm getting ripped off here. These walls were green and blue before they were white. And I called for a few quotes and this one guy was quoting me $3,500 for wall and ceiling and he's going to include the cost of the paint. How much would the estimate be if we chose to do walls only, no ceiling? And he said $3,200. So you're basically telling me if you don't do the ceiling, it's only $300 less. So can I hire you to just do the ceiling only for $300? Like, it's just things like this, I feel like maybe because I'm new, I don't really know. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm getting ripped off by contractors or not. It makes me feel really anxious. And the last thing, which actually makes me feel really nervous, is I feel like there's some sort of mental shift or change that's going on inside of me that I don't really understand. So like, for example, uh, back to the kitchen, um, we wanted to make this place look really nice. So I wanted under cabinet lights and my husband came home with under cabinet lights, but he bought the smallest size, which was 12 inches. And all of a sudden I get really picky with him. I'm like, why did you buy the smallest size? I want to get the largest size we can for the cabinet that we have. So, and he said to me, well, I thought because you're so cheap, you would want me to get the cheapest one. And the cheapest one was the 12 inch one. And I said, no, go back to the store, return these and go get the right size. And he said, yeah, but these are the right size is like $30 more for each one and when you have like four or five you know it, it's like what 150 dollars more it's weird it's weird for me to act like this and to be a bit more picky and go like yeah i don't care if it's 30 dollars more go and buy it i don't know why i'm feeling this way maybe because i've sacrificed for so long i just want to finally enjoy my money for a little bit of time before i go back to being all frugal and scrimping and saving again so I can buy more property for investment, you know, but I, I don't know. It's, it's just such a weird feeling and I, I don't understand it. But eh, this is what I'm going through right now, guys. So I hope this just gives you a little bit of insight if you're saving for your first home, what it's like. All right, guys, I will see you guys next time. Love you all. Bye.